Rediscover Jamaica. Hey peeps, it's your girl Blessed E. Gazadeva and welcome back to the Blessed E. Gazadeva channel and this is an update on Kalina Collier and being banned from Jamaica. This is our home, Jamaica. Western Bureau disgraced former flight attendant Kalina Collier is not likely to be banned from ever visiting Jamaica as tourism minister Edmund Bartlett urges the closing of that chapter in the country's history. Collier brought Jamaica's name into disrepute by using social media to convince hundreds of thousands of people worldwide that she had been held hostage while on vacation at the five-star Ocean Coral Spring Resort in Trelawney. She made the fake kidnapping allegations while trying to get out of quarantine after testing positive for Rona. All visitors who test positive are required to quarantine for 14 days, either in a government facility or a hotel. Collier's video of being locked in a room at the hotel, charging that cameras were filming her movement, went viral, spurring several social media influencers to start a campaign encouraging people to boycott Jamaica. At least one international organization that investigates human trafficking joined the efforts. On Tuesday, Collier was fired by JetBlue Airways, two days after returning to the United States with her Jamaican mother, Candice Walker. The airline apologized to the Jamaican government for the frustration and concern the incident had caused the island while reiterating its confidence in the health protocols Jamaica has put in place. Bartlett welcomes the airline's intervention while noting that the country stood on the quality of the Jamaican experience. He said the discussions he had with JetBlue CEO resulted in a recommitment to the relationship the island has had with the carrier for more than a decade. Our long-standing relationship will erase any negative impression that this incident would have caused, he said. Urging Collier to apologize to Jamaica and Jamaicans, the tourism minister said he was satisfied that the th truth about the former attendant has been widely received and accepted. By her admission, she has said she was not kidnapped, he added. In the meantime, Collier's actions are expected to hasten the strengthening of Jamaica's cybercrime legal la legislation when a joint select committee reviewing that proposed law meets. Speaking with the Glean on Tuesday, Minister of Foreign Affairs and former trade Kamina Johnson-Smith called for a revision of the Cyber Crimes Act, which she said would prove more effective in penalizing persons embroiled in a similar scandal. We are upset and deeply concerned at people's irresponsible use of social media, said the government senator. She said that Collier matter will be one of the issues on the agenda of the committee when they sit. <laughs> I'm just going to put this disclaimer out there. I've never ever wished or ever been elated about anybody losing their job. I must say in this case, I'm neither celebrating nor elated that she has lost her job. We need to look at life as an example. And when we look at life as an example, we understand that losing her job was the example that that young lady needed in life to make her, hopefully, a better person. Her losing her job doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to overnight become something great or she is going to change and become the best citizen, even of America. But what it has done it has sent shock waves to her friends and her. Fuck Allah. Keep it moving. Record anything you want to record. Feel free. Feel free. Because she's a mess. She's disgusting. The nerve of you. Sunday morning. The nerve of you. You don't have no kind of dignity or no kind of. Someone asked yesterday in the comment section why I called the girl mother dirty. Children are a reflection of their parent. Some people will argue that it's not necessarily true, and I will argue and refute it with anybody that it is indeed 100% factual. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he grows old, he will never depart from it. Every day, everybody who interacts with me, 
they hear me talk about my grandmother and I have some life lesson that she taught me. That is because she trained me properly and in the way I should have been grown. Now, I am light years ahead in terms of my behavior and mentality than that of most of my friends. So a lot of people is like, you love God like you're all the money. Or you love God like you're this and you're this and that. No, because I was nurtured with a wealth of knowledge on one, how to treat people, two, how to conduct myself, and three, how to be just and fearing all my dealings. And at the top of it, always put God first. Now, if you teach children these basic principles, then they will act accordingly. Now, we're not saying influences are not out there, but your influence is just as good as the influence out there. So it simply means that if they're being influenced out there, the influence you have at home should be greater than the one they're experiencing externally. Now, that being said, back to the mother. I think her name is Janice now based on what the news has said. If Janice had taken the time to coach, direct, and lead this young lady on the right path, then she wouldn't have made this grave issue. Now, for persons who did their investigations, they would have seen that she has a personal vlog that she talks about herself, she shows herself on flights, and if you pay attention to how she's been doing it for some time now, she appears to love her job. But apparently, her rotten, spoiled attitude that the mother encouraged superseded everything else that should have made sense to this young woman. This young woman should have been focused on becoming better at what she's supposed to do and not making such a stupid mistake. You have been given the opportunity and a lot of people talking about, oh, she's American and Jamaican, this and Jamaican, that. Let me tell you something. If you're an Israelite and you're born in Nairobi, you're an Israelite. That's why Jamaicans in America will always say, oh, I'm Jamaican. A number of them, they claim it. And if you do it legal way, you can get it on paper. But naturally, you are Jamaican by the blood that runs through your vein. And this is why I tell people, the blood within a child is very important. And I'm going to say it again. The mama have dirty blood, so Kalina have the dirty blood boiling up in her. You notice how she was calm? And the mama in the airport are gone with a bag of things. Had she been a proper mother, because that is in public domain. Now, had she been a proper mother, possibly Kalina would have beha been behaving like her. And she would have taken on Kalina's role, meaning leaning against the wall and calming herself and Kalina excitement of herself. But you can obviously see this mother is all about the excitement. She's all about the fanfare. She's all about the, yeah, my daughter, right. But hear what? Her behavior, not only the daughter is suffering. I know Kalina has balled 10 million times. So you see, even them putting a lifetime ban on her to come to Jamaica or not, Kalina will not be coming to Jamaica anytime soon. And I change my name if Kalina come into Jamaica anytime soon. This ordeal is going to leave her in a somber state. For one, she's going to be afraid to travel for a while. And with all that's going on with Rona, it would make sense for her. She is ashamed. And she has seen the outcry from the country now as a whole that we do not tolerate her filthy behavior. So she has learned her lesson. Personally, lifetime ban, I don't care for it. The job that she has lost, if anybody has been following her vlogs, will know that it was imperative to her. And it's something that she so-called loved because she didn't love it enough. And you can see she's extremely young. The mother was there to guide her and she didn't. Anyway, tell me your thoughts now down below in the comment section. If you think Edmund Bartlett made the right decision to say that she's not supposed to be banned for a lifetime, I saw other persons calling for stringent measures and that she should be imprisoned, etc. Let me tell you something. She's young. Let her be. She will learn. She will learn. Life has a way of teaching all of us a lesson. Happy Ash Wednesday, people. I don't know what you people are going to give up for Lent, but do enjoy whatever you give up in the moment of your fourth today. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell so that you can get all notifications. And if you've not yet hit the like button on this video, hit the like button and send us out.
I'm out. <laughs>